Peace, peace, y'all. Welcome to today's mathematics with your girl Sunshine Moni L. Today is 7-13-8. You already know we in the month of seven. This is the month of the Libra scales. It's all about balance, justice, and harmony, fairness, interpersonal relationships, bonds, and contracts. Justice with those bonds and contracts. Seven and supreme mathematics is also about God. Where is the God in you and how are you expressing it on the outside of you now that we've gotten out of the space of equality, paying any attention to our moral and technical and codes in that month of six? We're applying it and balancing what we learned in the month of six into this space of seven. Okay? I said. So, in this space, today's the last day of the energy of Anubis, which is the introverted creative energy going inward. We're also exiting, we're starting to exit out of cancer energy on the tropical, but we're starting to enter cancer energy on the Vedic. So now our mindset is getting more into that fired up, childish, playful, creative energy. However, our body and our happenings around us are just now starting to enter that isolation and solitude we created for ourselves and our mind early on this month. So we give things. Because everything starts with a thought, and you know the speed of light moves way faster than the physical. So give your body grace to catch up to your mind's pace. Bars. <laughs> So in the space of seven, that, that isolation, learning how to be alone without being lonely, knowing how to be alone and be in your hermit mode without it being in spite of or a sad happening or whatever the fuck, you know, all that's your world. So we in the day of 13, this is a karmic debt number because we're learning how to express our knowledge. Which for a lot of us is very difficult to do because we spent our whole childhood learning how to be quiet, especially if you're a woman, you learned that you had to be seen and not heard, and sometimes you weren't even allowed to be seen. So in this space and time, learning how to express your, your knowledge, aligning your emotional self, that three, with your intellect, that feminine, masculine energy, they're not here to combat each other or one to be right and the other one be wrong. They're here to complement each other. So your intellect should complement your emotions. Your emotions should complement your intellect, right? And if you... If it's some trickery is going on within you or whatever, you know, work on it. It's okay to be a walking contradiction too. Like, are you really contradictory or are you able to be a part of all the crossroads like your girl? You know, we give thanks to Eshu and Eshu and Papa Legba for showing us that um, we can be in the crossroads. We can do a little bit of everything. Shouts to that Veggie Twins too, gang gang. All right, so we're taking that one and three. We're learning how to express our, our knowledge. We're learning how to put an intellect to our emotions and our expression. We got that knowledge and understanding of things. And so when we put it together, we make a four, which is the foundation, right? That brings us a sense of freedom. So we got that square happening when we align the two. It makes sense for us. We put it in our root chakra. We love it here. And we can stand on it, all right? Stand on that shit. Don't get wavy. We got to be the four. We don't like wavy fours. So we're going to take that form, we're going to put it into the seven of God, our conversations with God, the God in us, the God in other people, the God in nature, you know, it's God in everything. So, you know, we're going to put that four into that seven and that's going to bring us to mastery. Y'all know I love my number and mastery. In this space and time, you become an inspiration to yourself, right? You pour so much into yourself, mastering yourself and doing better for yourself that it just automatically starts to pour into and it starts to inspire other people to do the same. That 11 can also be a two when... Again, coming back to the Libra skills of focusing on interpersonal relationships, focusing on your heart chakra and how you feel about things, because that's what Libra is about. How do you feel about your interpersonal relationships and your, your flow, your balance and harmony and fairness and things? You know what I'm saying? So in this space of time, you know, we got the mastery happening. We master self so that it can pour into others today. So get your mastery on, you know, and it's two ones. So be mindful of like, putting yourself so far into isolation on some like egotistical shit like i'm a master i can be alone da, 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 da. it's not about that and that's what seven is going to remind you it's not about that because i'm gonna put you some people in your space and i'm gonna see how you react to them and you might block your blessings because you stuck on the ones instead of realizing that the two ones also make a two so be mindful of that to my 11s out there the two ones make a two so we take that 11 and we're going to bring it to the year of eight. So as we master ourselves and we're inspiring others, we're bringing it to the year of the solar plexus chakra. This is the year of Oya. This is the year of the dragon. We're building and destroying this year. This is the year of conceive and conception. Sex. What are you sexing to give birth to next year when we're in the year nine? You know what I'm saying? And every day counts. Every moment counts. You know, we just we just conceiving, conceiving, conceiving. You know, we say that with our solar plexus chakra, which is like we're enforcing that law that we want to see. So every time you learn something, you enforce it. But if you go back to the drawing board and the next number in mathematics and you want to enforce something else, you have the liberty to do that. We're in the Libra scales. And Libra scales can be a little indecisive because they want to touch both sides or whatever. And then sometimes they want to be in the middle of the scale. And then there's multitude of scales. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay. Touch them all, says the Wow. 
Okay, so um, we have that knowledge being born after you put that mastery into your solar plexus chakra and you start enforcing it, right? We come into that 19 of knowledge being born. So today is a very intellectual day. Get some aha moments for yourself. We love it here. And you're going to see how the stars complement that. Because today overall is a day of one. Today is a day of knowledge. We got knowledge in our cipher. And then we just got knowledge all over. And then we just got knowledge. And we love it here. So let's talk about what's happening in the astrological, astronomical report. We start the day off with a 42% waxing crescent moon, moon rising at 1.09 p.m. and setting at 12.02 a.m. We are in Libra. We're in the Libra scales with our thought process. It's all about the balance, harmony, and justice. All about fairness in the... In the uh, the bonds and contracts that we're in. We're still in Virgo in the constellations, so our body is still in, in alignment with organization and self-management, our moral and integral code, what we want to put in our habits and our daily routine and things, right? We're in the seventh house with it, still bring us to the Libra energy with it, and that energy is also being ruled by Virgo. Sunrise at 5.41 a.m. is setting at 8.28 p.m. The a.m. visibility of the Orion begins, so you get that Orion's belt first thing in the a.m. The first quarter moon is at 6.49 p.m. The moon is best visible after sunset, so we're going from building on intent things see how we was always building on our mindset and stuff like that so now after this first quarter moon we're going to get into waxing gibbous which is building on the actual physical things right so everything starts with a thought so when we in crescent we in the non-physical when we get in gibbous now we're in the physical so what uh so now we're going to look back on all the non-physical things that we did you know thought process emotions feelings attitudes work ethic all the non-physical stuff and now we're going to sit and say hey do we like how this was and we're going to do sankofa vibes if you like it move it forward as you're building intangible things if you don't like it we're in the year build and destroy destroy that shit so you can build something else and then bring it forward into the wax and give us all right the evening visibility of capricornus begins for my workaholics out there the moon and speaker at minimal angle today at 10 56 p.m the moon will be five degrees west northwest conjunction at 11 12 p.m the moon be one degree 37 latitude occultation will be at those physical times visible times excuse me so we have our internal third eye in alignment with speaker which is the star of harvest for all my spellcasters out here, this is a beautiful day to um, invoke what you want in your space, what you wish to have in your space, and we love it here. As earlier, Mercury entered Draconic Leo, so we have our throat chakra, uh, the soul of our throat chakra sitting in our inner child self. So, you know, start getting comfortable with letting your inner child uh, take the wheel, especially because July 3rd, Mercury entered the Leo Zodiac as well. So not only is your mind in that childish creative energy, but so is your soul with that invocation space. And that's really pre-gaming us for this uh, Virgo eclipse happening on September 17th. Check out my hump day reading if you don't know about it. All right. So Mars enters Taurus constellation. So we have our motivation, you know, the, the physical of our motivation happening in our priorities. Again, as we go from Crescent to Gibbous, now we're starting to materialize and Mars is moving with us in that Taurus constellation. Motivated towards building, creating, all that fun stuff. Priorities value valuing yourself valuing other people a lot of y'all having your aha moments and saying me first this i gotta reprioritize i gotta go back to the drawing board and that's happening at 7 15 p.m eastern standard time tonight jupiter enters draconic gemini tonight as well at 7 20 p.m eastern standard time so we have our generosity our luck our optimism that obatala energy the uh the ruler of our sacral chakra which is our sensual self our nervous system sitting in community right we're going to get a lot from our community. Again, that's why I said to my 11s out there, that 11 is a 2, my hermit's out there. We're getting out. We're moving out of the Anubis energy. So this is this is the last day. Soak it in. Because Jupiter, like, if you want this generosity, if you want these sonic rings, go on and get into that Gemini energy. Some of y'all going to family reunions. Some of y'all going to block parties, all these different things like that. Networking is key in this space. Karma enters the Gemini constellations as well at 7.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you know karma don't play. So karma is physically creating, you know, if you've been mistreating your community, guess what? That shit finna come back. If you've been treating your community well, guess what? That shit finna come back. If you've been separating yourself from your community, guess what? That shit finna come back. If you've been over exasperating yourself in your community guess what that shit finna come back and it also applies to your knowledge you know you, i know gemini energy likes to be everywhere all at once it's all about focus in this space and how focused you are because that is the key to gemini energy is finding stability and focus and if you don't find stability and focus guess what that's all coming back and that's what i got for you today my cosmic nobodies peace peace